teeth in. Pull his teeth in. Sounds like he's got false teeth. Put the shadow in his mouth. Just draw that in nice and quickly. And then we can really start building the details up and just shading bits in. So his hat cre is creating a shadow over. And this will give it three dimensional form. So if we shade his hair, bring that down over the top of his ear and then a darker shadow for under his hat and if we just very quickly shade his hat in it'll start giving him a load of form and it's really starting to look like Woody. Again, this is great because it's for beginners. Now, shade the top of his hat in. It just shows you how quick and simple you can pull a drawing together and have fun, even with just a simple pencil. Now I'm using a 2B pencil. There's the shading on the top of his hat. Because the light's coming from this direction. So we need to just darken down under the brow of his hat. And it's just practice and experimenting with how hard you press on to get your depth of tone. So now we've got shadow coming down off his nose that's being cast and over the side of his face. So if you just press on lightly, around his eye, his cheek line, you can put a lot of form and shape in. So there's the shadow off his nose, down on the inside of his eye under his eyebrow, it's just thicken up his eyebrow so it stands out and then you need a little, again just press it on lightly and you do your shading you start to give a bit more form shadow down the side of his jaw underneath his lip And then underneath his chin and down his neck. And then you can, because it's a 3D form, you can just add a slight more shadow and shade in certain areas because you get a bit of a highlight. And you just build it up, almost like layer by layer with your pencil. And you can increase the intensity of the shadows. There's his kind of bit on his laughter line. Uh, just a little bit of tone coming down his jaw. Shadow under his ear. Back of his hair, darken that down the front of his hair. So there you get Woody appearing. Remember on his hat as well, if you look, you get loops. And they go over and under. But all you need to do is just put a wiggly line on and just enjoy it. And if you think of the loops as little S's or worms, it's much easier to draw them. So you've then got a worm coming over and under. Start on the top, imagine where it comes out of the top of the hat, a worm over and under. And another one over and under, and another one over and under, and that way you get the curve that comes around his hat. Now, very quickly, we can just start adding up the details and shading him in. His neckerchief is 
red so you can get a red felt tip pen and colour that in whereas his shirt is yellow that kind of nice mustard yellow colour his button has a metal outside so you need a nice ring inside it then it's got a shadow going underneath and you've got his waistcoat outline to his waistcoat he's got the little black stripes if you think of a stripy straw and that'll help you adding those on and then you've got his the black and white pattern just really press on and, and gouge your pencil in which is nice I'm just going to sharpen my pencil now then you get the star his sherry's badge it's so important it's just a little curve you can just shade that in a little bit I'm just darkening the lines and doing a slightly darker outline helps you when it comes to shading in the tone and the lights coming from this direction so the shadow is going to be on this side and then you can just put a little bit of lighter tone smudge it with your finger if you want and his shirt comes over and it just delineates the outline does your drawing so that you can get it down quite quickly and then you've got a crease where it joins the top it joins his shoulder you need the loop going round again for the edge of his waistcoat and the lines going over the top hand tucking in underneath and you've got a shadow line down there it's all very very simple testing 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 getting the volume ready and then we can shade in his shirt very quickly with a, a kind of a simple lighter tone go all over his shirt with one tone and that's the thing don't think you've got to hold your pencil like a pen you don't you can hold it in different angles and it allows you to experiment and enjoy but then you see that you've got a shadow halfway underneath his shirt so you can darken that down and then just inside just do another little shadow line and you can get a dirty get a dirty finger smudging your picture and right underneath his left arm folded over his right is going to be in shadow so you can shade that in quite nicely and quickly and what I'm doing with a pencil is creating tone and shape and form but if you're using felt tips and you were using a mustard colour, a, a yellow colour, you just need a, a darker, slightly darker when you get the sets of pencil crayons and felt tip pens. Just get the two colours that are similar and then use the darker one for the shadow underneath. But pencil crayons are great because you can use them just like a pencil. But this is how simple and quick you can get a drawing down of woody so now all you've got to draw on is the lines and you watch where the buttons are and there's a line over the top another one where the V is and then the vertical lines come down so you've got your horizontal lines there's one right through the center of the button one just underneath And then you get his cuff and there's three so you've got one if you do the center one first and then do the end ones after nice simple ellipse and then you get your horizontal lines coming up 
that way it allows you to again just like the stick man place everything on appropriately there's one down the bottom of his arm there's his hand going up one down the top just go all the way down and you got one two three four all the way down to the end so if you've got four you've got one two three four and then there's one at the end just place your little tick marks on and it gives you an idea of placement and that way a little cross there you might not get frustrated if you don't put them in the right place because if you just put little marks on to guide you first it'll help you put your lines in the right place so going up from his finger behind the star you've got one line and then you've got one two and you get these crosses underneath again so just like this cuff on the top the one underneath has three lines so if you just place three little marks so there's the edge of the cuff. Do the middle one first, and then do the outside ones. And you've got a line going there, and another one from the centre. All of a sudden, you don't run out of space, even on the cuffs. The same as placing Woody on your paper by doing a big stick man first. So here we've got his elbow. There's a big crease that goes under. You get a line going round. And then the line comes down and goes all the way up. And the line goes from the top of your shoulder, comes down and goes all the way along. And you just can't see that one under there. And you've got one, two, three, four to there. You've got another four. So you've got one, two, three, four. And then you can just draw the lines in his elbow joint his shadow under his hand and then you've got one two three four again one two three four but just make the curve follow the shape of his arm And it'll look really nice. So you got the top half of Woody looking quite good. So now we're on the bottom part of Woody and we just need to shade this in nice and quick. So we get underneath his jeans you've got his belt buckle which again is just a nice simple ellipse. And everything under here is under shade you got the loop on his jeans you got the belt and if you think about tones, the belt is similar to the hat up here. The same kind of brown and so is his holster. So if we just shade down his legs really quickly. Use the side of your pencil and that will shade in large areas faster. And just don't worry about going over the lines a little bit just enjoy your drawing you know you're not out to do a hyper realistic drawing you're out to have fun and the hyper realistic stuff takes a long time so if we shade all of that in get a little bit of tone and so now we can see because he's got shadow coming from underneath his arms so you've got to have a similar tone on the belt and the shadow off his arms to underneath the brow of his hat so it's the colors quite similar the tone rather than the color so if you are using color using colored pencil crayons again because of the curve you can just darken a little bit on his arms underneath but don't go right to the edge because curved surfaces remember have a slight reflected highlight just inside them but this is the fun with drawing you can just enjoy it 
there's the loop on the edge of his jeans so we draw the holster get the tone down and a nice mid-tone the rosette is a bit like a little woggly star and you've got the red in the centre so again we've got a nice dark line for the edge of the holster which is nice and curved and then a middle kind of tone going down the rosette the leather kind of little strap that comes down goes right to the edge but now we need his legs doing quite quickly let's just he's got kind of cow horn shape so just put some nice wiggly lines in for where the belt goes his jeans we'll put the shadows on after you've got the stitching the heavy stitching coming down so just indicate some nice lines and his knee has got the bend and it's how the fabric folds in you just got a little bit of the stitching down the sides but you've got the shadow cast off the holster so you've got a nice shape there again use the side of your pencil just press on a little bit harder and you can fill that area in and the shadow on the inside of his legs I mean the jeans if you do the direction you just do some nice quick lines in a diagonal direction that's the weave of the fabric in the jeans and that will stand out and just make them look a little bit more like jeans and you're indicating an idea rather than as I say going for the hyper realistic drawing which takes days and days and days and days and days but do have a go at going doing that kind of drawing as well because it's good fun so there's where his zip comes down shadow is coming underneath so all in this area is going to be a little bit darker underneath because of his arms that are folded And the shape and contour of the top of his jeans around the top of his legs and his bottom so you got a dark shadow right the way across on his knee and that's looking quite good and again on the other side and then the edge shadow comes down right the way And this is how good and simple it is to have fun with a pencil and I said I used to do this as a child all the time just used to copy drawings cartoons comics and that's the real fun you can keep yourself amused and learn a skill at the same time very quickly by drawing the things that you enjoy so if we now really darken the shadows down underneath and that's great so that's fun and to go with Woody I'm gonna do Jesse I'm gonna do Buzz Lightyear as well these will be videos that you'll be able to see if you subscribe to my YouTube channel they'll let you know when they come out and I'm gonna do Ham the Pig and Rex the Dinosaur and lots of other characters from other films and as I say I've already done Emmett, Lucy Widestyle and Batman from the Lego movie and I've got a very simple using the grid how to draw Olaf because he's a nice simple shape from Disney's Frozen they're all on my YouTube channel so if you go to youtube.com forward slash the art of Billy there's lots of beginners videos as well as my high-end art that I produce you can see a lot of my art at billyart.co.uk and that's where I post a lot of my finished paintings, my oil paintings of motorsport subjects and I post videos of those on here too so here we've got the shadow from this boot onto this boot so I'm just indicating where the shadow is going to go we've got the loop over the top of his boot and the top there so if we do the dark shadow 
that coming down and we might need a nice mid-tone for the boot so if we fill all of the boots in remember you can use an eraser a rubber this is a putty rubber as a drawing tool so I'm just going to put the highlight on on the boot there and on the top of his boot and on that strap it can indicate if we just put the mid tones in on his right boot all of a sudden you've got Woody looking quite good you got a friend in me what a song that was and you can even get the music as well and learn to play that either on the piano or on the guitar there's Disney music out there if you are inclined to be artistic musically that would be a good thing so we darken down the boot you've got a circle on the edge of your stirrup coming down to the edge again the tones give you the form so here we get the shadow again just quickly indicate it in just a little bit of pattern on the top of his boot he's got that lovely quote hasn't he if the boot fits the pronunciation of the on the boot is great in the film Tom Hanks doing the voice of Woody is very very funny just one of the best films ever appeals to children and adults alike so now we need the shadow coming onto the back of his boot darken that loop down over the top little crease in his boot there